everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am going to be sharing some successful queries so that you have some examples of queries that have worked. I find that no matter how many times you kind of go over what makes a good query, it's really examples that help. So I'm going to read through the queries of a few friends of mine. So all of these have book deals or are already out so you know that they worked. And I will have the text up on the screen so you can follow along. It's hearing it and it's seeing it that is really, really helpful. I took care to pick out a variety of queries that demonstrate different things. So I have queries for dual POV. I have queries for fantasy, for contemporary. I have one for middle grade. I have some that open right on the book and some that start with personalization. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start with a YA fantasy. It is Jade Fire Gold by June Tan. June was part of Pitch Wars and this is the query that she used and sent to agents including my agent, our agent, Alana Roth Parker. So in a far-flung desert outpost of the turbulent Shi Empire, 16-year-old An X out a living as a dishwasher and petty thief. Shunned for her unexplained appearance, she longs for a better life for herself and her adoptive grandmother. When a theft goes awry, her latent powers manifest, making her the most powerful weapon in the country. She is the life stealer, a thief of souls. His family murdered and his birthright hijacked, Altan has three things on his to-do list. Take back the dragon throne, free the empire from the clutches of a cult of priests, and undo the ravages of dark power lying deep within the land. But for the exiled prince to get what he wants, he must put his faith in a girl. A girl who is the tool for his vengeance, but who will either be his salvation or the damnation of the entire world. Their paths collide when the priests abduct An's grandmother. Forced to work together, the pair travel across the eternal desert and dangerous seas to seek an elusive sword with immense powers, one that only the life stealer can wield. Willing to do anything to save her grandmother, An starts to embrace her dark power, while Alton brings to question his own motives. But when their search reveals secrets beyond their imagination, the pair quickly realize no one can be trusted including each other. Complete at X words, Jade Fire Gold will appeal to fans of Avatar The Last Airbender and Lee Bardugo's Grisha trilogy. It is a standalone novel written in dual POV and has series potential. So important note, this was queried several years ago. I'd say now that a Lee Bardugo comp might be a little overdone, but it was perfect at the time. And as you can see, the query is a little on the long side, but that is because it is dual POV and it's a query that manages to aptly weave the dual POVs into the query. Not every query can pull that off. It also covers a lot of ground. She's not only giving you good character details, but world texture, but it doesn't feel like a synopsis. There's tension in there, there's conflict, and there's stakes. You get a good idea of character dynamics, the magic system, and that it's going to be a quest slash journey kind of fantasy. Next, totally different, is a YA contemporary rom-com. This is the original query for Emily Wibberly and Austin Ziegovan Broca which landed them their agent Katie Shea Boutelier and went on to sell. They're now on their fourth or their fifth book for Penguin. And this is a good one because it actually starts with the book paragraph, as I call it, first. I've also included their original title so you can see that there are title changes. The book ended up being published as always, never yours. We are seeking representation for The Girl Before, a 75,000 word contemporary YA novel. Megan Harper is a Rosaline, as in Rosaline from Romeo and Juliet, the girl Romeo's doting on before he meets Juliet, and promptly abandons when he does. Every one of Megan's relationships has ended the same way. Her ex replaces her with someone perfect. But instead of crying over every breakup, Megan spends her time on her two passions, pursuing her next fling and directing theater. She hates the spotlight and is hoping to fulfill her dream directing college programs acting requirement in the smallest role possible. Until Megan's theater teacher casts her to play none other than Juliet in her school's production of Romeo and Juliet, and she meets Owen Okita, 
an aspiring playwright and fellow acting novice. In exchange for Megan's help writing a play, Owen agrees to help Megan catch the eye of a hot hipster stagehand. But between rehearsing for Romeo and Juliet's Oregon Shakespeare Festival premiere and contending with her dad's plans to move with Megan's pregnant stepmom to New York, Megan begins to realize Owen, thoughtful, unconventional, and utterly unlike her exes, might be the Romeo she never expected. Better yet, with him, she might finally be a Juliet. Incorporating scenes from Romeo and Juliet, the girl before is a story of love's labors lost and eventually found, and of feeling like a supporting character on everyone else's stage. We're writing you because your work and your interest in contemporary YA, we recently read and loved The Fall of Butterflies. I love this query. It jam packs so much into a small space, and that's what I want you to take away from these examples. It's the artful ways that the writers communicate the hook of the story, but also tons of character, emotion, conflict, but of course an idea of what the plot is. This delivers all of that. You know it's kind of a Shakespeare remix. It's Shakespeare inspired. It's going to appeal to those theater kids, but it's taking an unusual angle for it. It's going to give you a lot of layered character and teen angst, but also with a strong central romance. Next, I have a middle grade query by my friend Alyssa Coleman, who was actually my author mentor match round two mentee. It is coming out winter 2021. Alyssa is fantastic at queries and this is another great example of how to work in a lot of textural details into a query in an efficient, relatively small space. I also wanted to highlight this one because there are going to be cases where your hook is in the premise itself and those are great examples of when you want to start with your hook before you get into the book and this is definitely an example of that. So was Austin and Emily's query. I hope that you will consider my middle grade fantasy, The Gilded Girl, which is a little princess meets the whimsy of Jessica Townsend's Nevermore and is complete at 62,000 words. Any child can spark magic, but only the elite are allowed to kindle. Those denied access to the secrets of kindling will see their magic snuff out before their 13th birthday. In 1906 New York, Miss Posterity's Academy for Practical Magic is the best kindling school. And wealthy 12-year-old Emma Harris is accustomed to the best. Though terrified of being apart from her doting father for the first time, Emma's certain she'll have no issues keeping her magic and remaining in the elite position that such power ensures. But when her father unexpectedly dies, leaving her penniless, Emma loses her privileged position and her opportunity to kindle. She's reduced to working alongside Izzy, a poor servant girl who refuses to let her magic snuff, even though society says she must. Amid old dreams and new struggles, Emma and Izzy form a reluctant pact. If Izzy will teach Emma how to survive as a servant, Emma will reveal what she knows about magic. Along the way, they encounter talking cats, house dragons to those in the know, shy libraries that like to hide, and pop quizzes that literally pop. But when another student's kindling goes horribly wrong, revealing the fiery danger of magic, Emma and Izzy must put aside their differences and truly work together or snuff out forever. I was a mentee in the 2017 Author Mentor Match program, am a member of SCBWI, and attended the 2017 Big Sur Writers Workshop. As a playwright, I won the 2013 ESPA New Play Competition at Primary Stages in New York, and was a semi-finalist at the Eugene O'Neill Theatre Center National Playwrights Conference. I include the bio there not to overwhelm you. Alyssa had a lot of relevant writing credentials, but to give a good example of how you write the bio paragraph when you do have those sorts of writing credentials. As you can see there, the query just has a lot of the textural details. You get a sense of the magic. I love how it lays out both the conflict, but also you know that there's going to be the strong friendship arc there. I love where she lists out the series of things like the shy libraries and the pop quizzes that literally pop. That's the kind of whimsical detail you want to put in a middle grade query especially, though all queries are better served by specific detail. 
Next is an oldie but a goodie. I love using this query as an example because it's the query that taught me a ton about querying, and that is for Beth Revis's book Across the Universe. So it is a sci-fi mystery novel, a great example of how to set up tension and stakes in your query. Dear Agent, 17-year-old Amy has no desire to become one of the first colonists on a new planet, but her parents do. So she agrees to be cryogenically frozen for the journey, even if it means giving up the life she loves on Earth. Much later, Elder, part of the generations of workers born on the ship, begins his training as the future commander. He has no idea of the cargo of cryogenically frozen people hidden beneath his feet. Then Amy wakes up 50 years early. Amy now has to adjust to life without her still-frozen parents on board a spaceship that is vastly different from her home on Earth. Trapped by both the metal walls of the ship and the lies that keep it running, Amy discovers her cryo-chamber hadn't malfunctioned. Someone had tried to kill her. As more and more helplessly frozen victims are unplugged, Amy combines her knowledge of the past with Elder's knowledge of the ship to find and stop the murderer before Amy's parents are the next victims. Complete at 80,000 words, Across the Universe is science fiction for teens who don't like science fiction. The character-driven plot with a focus on mystery, secrets, and an unreliable narrator will appeal to fans of Mary Pearson's The Adoration of Jenna Fox, and the contained mystery may attract older readers of Jean de Prau's City of Ember. I am currently a high school world literature teacher and an active member of SCBWI, having been published in and working as the copy editor of the state SCBWI magazine. Additionally, I run a blog on writing for middle grade and YA audiences, bethrevis.blogspot.com, which has over 300 subscribers and an active community of authors and readers who share blog tours, book reviews, and author interviews. I can be found online at bethrevis.com or email. It is kind of funny because when she would have sent in this query, of course having 300 followers on your blog was very, very good. Today, this might be your Instagram or your YouTube channel if you have a notable number of followers or just mention them in passing if the subscribers or followers isn't notable. But this is an example of someone who was a teacher, joined SCBWI, got involved. It's the things that you join and get involved in that give you things to put in that bio paragraph. And I mean, this is just one of my favorite YA sci-fi books. I love the query. Don't you feel that tension? Don't you want to know what's going on? Really, really great query. That's going to make you want to read the pages. And last but certainly not least, I have a historical YA query, Dangerous Alliance by Jenica Cohen. Another one I picked out because it aptly does dual POV, but I also like how in her bio paragraph she talks about her research and kind of her credentials to write this specific type of historical fiction. I actually realize a ton of these are dual POV, which was not on purpose, but hey, now you have great examples of dual POV queries. So, dear Miss Unter, since you represent Anne O'Brien and are looking for YA literature, I hope this query will interest you in Dangerous Alliance, a dual point of view YA Downton Abbey, good comp, with the intrigue of the Lux series and a proto-feminist bent. Your absolutely wonderful client Toby Easton chose Dangerous Alliance to mentor in Pitch Wars 2016, and the manuscript has undergone significant revisions under her guidance and expertise. At 99,000 words, Dangerous Alliance is a standalone novel with series potential. Few things there. Love the comps, Downton Abbey is giving a really good sense of the feel of the novel and the class stuff in the novel. She was in Pitch Wars and that's a very elegant way to describe it. This agent represents her mentor, so she's bringing it up. And I just wanna say, love how she got it to 99K, just under 100K, you know. 17-year-old Lady Victoria Aston wants nothing more than to live a pastoral existence on her family estate in Hampshire, but when her sister escapes an abusive husband, the family starts divorce proceedings, a difficult, scandalous process in 1817. As her sister may never win her freedom, Vicky has no choice but to find a husband of her own who will keep her brother-in-law from laying claim to their lands. 
Amidst the glittering ballrooms of Georgian London's high society, Vicky must choose between the boy who broke her heart and the man who loves her now, all while wielding courage and a pistol to protect her family from the masked assassins who begin attacking them when news of the divorce circulates. Now this is a dual POV book, so there's more, but even if it weren't, how good is that paragraph? That lays out everything and makes you want to read. Tom Sherborne returns to England after four years in Napoleon's dysfunctional Europe to a title he doesn't want, an estate deeply in debt, and memories of a violent father he's striven to forget. Tom's only chance to keep his now fractured family afloat is to open London's first luxury hotel. But his strange accidents start befalling his former best friend, Vicky. Her suitors drag Tom into an insidious plot that could ruin everything he's worked for, and worse, turn him into a replica of his father, something he swore he'd never become. To vanquish the forces allied against them, Tom and Vicky must work together to save themselves and the lives of everyone they hold dear. Dangerous Alliance's premise is based on actual spousal cruelty divorce cases that occurred in Georgian England, and I have attempted to be factually accurate to this little-known corner of British social history. As a lifelong history and literature lover, I studied English history at Cambridge University before receiving my bachelor's from the University of California, Davis. I also have a master's degree in professional writing from the University of Southern California. I have worked as an assistant to a literary agent, as an editorial intern for Prima Games, an imprint of Penguin Random House, and as a writing consultant for Google. I am a member of the SCBWI, a pro member of the Romance Writers of America, and a member of the Jane Austen Society of North America. So as you can see there, I love the way she contextualizes why she wrote this book and kind of the slice of history she was going after, and then she uses her educational credentials, and I also like that membership in the Jane Austen Society to support that. Again, like all of the examples before, note how she really was able to pack in a ton of detail and texture in not a lot of words. Queries are, at the end of the day, marketing copy. It is about efficiency of language and expression. It is not a blow-by-blow -blow of what happens in the plot, but it's masterfully balancing kind of character details, little snippets of world with that forward propulsion of the plot with the conflict and the stakes. I really hope these examples have helped. There are so many more out there, so let me know down below in the comments, did this help you? What other kinds of queries would you like to see? I can seek out more of them and do further videos with sample queries in them. So to that end, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know that you want to see more videos like this. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post new videos two to three times a week. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and in this instance, happy querying.